a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Mia Farrow Maria de Lord, Mia, Villiers Farrow is an American actress, activist, and former fashion model. She first gained notice for her role as Alison McKenzie in the television soap opera Patent Place, and gained further recognition for her subsequent short-lived marriage to Frank Sinatra. An early film role, as Rosemary in Roman Polanski's Rosemary's Baby, saw her nominated for a BAFTA Award, and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. She went on to appear in several films throughout the 1970s, such as Follow Me, The Great Gatsby, and Death on the Nile. Her younger sister is Prudence Farrow. Farrow was in a relationship with actor-director Woody Allen from 1980 to 1992 and appeared in 13 of his 14 films over that period, including Zelig, Broadway Danny Rose, The Purple Rose of Cairo, Hannah, and her sisters, Radio Days, Crimes, and Misdemeanors, Alice, and Husbands and Wives. Her later film roles include Widow's Peak, The Omen, Be Kind Rewind, Dark Horse, and Luke Besson's Arthur series. Farrow has appeared in more than 50 films and won numerous awards, including a Golden Globe Award and three BAFTA Award nominations. Farrow is also known for her extensive work as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. She is involved in humanitarian activities in Darfur, Chad, and the Central African Republic. In 2008, Time magazine named her one of the most influential people in the world. Early Life Farrow was born in Los Angeles, California, the third child and eldest daughter of Australian film director John Farrow and Irish actress Maureen O'Sullivan. Both Farrow's mother and father were from Catholic families. She is one of seven children, with older brothers Michael Damien, Patrick, younger brother John Charles, and younger sisters Prudence and actresses Stephanie and Tisha. Her eldest brother, Michael Farrow, died in a plane crash in 1958, at age 19. Patrick, a sculptor, committed suicide in 2009, and John Charles was convicted of sexually abusing two young boys in 2013 and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Her sister Prudence inspired John Lennon to write the song, Dear Prudence. Farrow grew up in Beverly Hills, California, where she occasionally put on performances with toy daggers and fake blood for passing celebrity tour buses. Aged two, she made her film debut in a short documentary, Unusual Occupations, film Todd Holiday. She was raised as a Roman Catholic, and received her primary and high school education at a Catholic convent by nuns. When she was nine, she contracted polio during an outbreak in Los Angeles reportedly affecting 500 people. She was placed in an isolation ward for three weeks, and later said the experience marked the end of her childhood. 1963-1979 Before her acting career, Farrow worked as a fashion model for many years. She screen tested for the role of Liesl von Trapp in The Sound of Music, but did not get the part. The footage has been preserved, and appears on the 40th anniversary edition DVD of The Sound of Music. Farrow began her acting career by appearing in supporting roles in several 1960s films, making her first credited appearance in Guns at Bertassi. The same year, she achieved stardom on the popular primetime soap opera patent place as naive, waif like Alice and Mackenzie. Farrow left the series in 1966 at the urging of Frank Sinatra whom she married on July 19, 1966. Farrow's first leading film role was in Rosemary's Baby, which was a critical and commercial success at the time and continues to be widely regarded as a classic of the horror genre. Her performance garnered numerous awards, including the Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year Actress, and established her as a leading actress. Film critic and author Stephen Farber described her performance as having an electrifying impact. One of the rare instances of actor and character achieving a miraculous, almost mythical match. Film critic Roger Ebert called the film, brilliant, and noted, a great deal of the credit for this achievement must go to Mia Farrow, as Rosemary. Following Rosemary's Baby, Farrow was to be cast as Matty in True Grit, and was keen on the role. However, prior to filming she made secret ceremony in England with Elizabeth Taylor and Robert Mitchum. While filming, 
Mitchum told her about True Grit director Henry Hathaway having a reputation for being rude to actresses. Farrow asked producer Hal Wallace to replace Hathaway. Wallace refused. Farrow then quit the role, which was then given to Ken Darby. Secret Ceremony divided critics, but has gone on to develop a devoted following. Farrow's other late 1960s films include John and Mary, opposite Dustin Hoffman. In the 1970s, Farrow performed in several classical plays in London including Mary Rose, The Three Sisters, and Ivanov. She became the first American actress to join the Royal Shakespeare Company. During this time she appeared in several films, including the thriller See No Evil, French director Claude Chabrol's Dr. Paul and the Great Gatsby, in which Farrow played Daisy Buchanan. She appeared in director Robert Altman's cult classic A Wedding. In 1977, she played the title role in The Haunting of Julia. Farrow appeared in several made-for-television films in the 1970s, most notably portraying the title role in a musical version of Peter Pan. In 1979, she appeared on Broadway opposite Anthony Perkins in the play Romantic Comedy by Bernard Slade. 1980-present In the 1980s and early 1990s, Farrow's relationship with director Woody Allen resulted in numerous film collaborations. She appeared in nearly all of Allen's films during this period, including leading roles in Zelig, Broadway Danny Rose, The Purple Rose of Cairo, Hannah, and her sisters, Radio Days and Alice. Farrow played Laura, mother of Kara, in Supergirl and voiced the title role in the animated film The Last Unicorn. She narrated several of the animated stories to remember. Alan said that the way she played her character in Broadway Danny Rose was a very, very brave thing for her to do, as she had to play her role without ever using her eyes. Citing the need to devote herself to raising her young children, Farrow worked less frequently during the 1990s. Nonetheless, she appeared in leading roles in several films, including The Irish Film Widow's Peak, Miami Rhapsody, and Reckless. She appeared in several independent features and made-for-television films throughout the late 1990s and early 2000s and wrote an autobiography, What Falls Away, in 1997. Farrow appeared as Mrs. Baylock, the satanic nanny, in the remake of The Omen. Although the film itself received a lukewarm critical reception, Farrow's performance was widely praised, with the Associated Press declaring, Thank heaven for Mia Farrow, and calling her performance. A rare instance of the new omen improving on the old one, filmcritic.com added, it is Farrow who steals the show, and the Seattle Post Intelligencer described her performance as, a truly delicious comeback role for Rosemary herself, Mia Farrow, who is chillingly believable as a sweet-talking nanny from hell. She worked on several films released in 2007, including the romantic comedy The Ex and the first part of director Luke Besson's trilogy of fantasy films. Arthur and the Invisibles. In 2008, in director Michelle Gondry's Be Kind Rewind, she appeared opposite Jack Black, Moss Def, and Danny Glover. In 2011, Farrow appeared in the film Dark Horse, directed by Todd Solons. In September 2014, Farrow returned to Broadway in the play Love Letters. The play was well received by critics with the New York Times calling Farrow's performance utterly extraordinary. As the flighty, unstable, and writing a verse Melissa Gardner. Activism and Politics Farrow became a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador in 2000 and is a high-profile advocate for human rights in Africa, particularly for children's rights. She has worked to raise funds and awareness for children in conflict-affected regions and to draw attention to the fight to eradicate polio. Farrow has received several awards for her humanitarian work including the Leon Sullivan International Service Award, the Lyndon Baines Johnson Moral Courage Award and the Marian Anderson Award. She has set up a campaigning website, mayafarrow.org. In 2008, Time magazine named her one of the most influential people in the world. In 2007, Farrow co-founded the Olympic Dream for Darfur campaign, which drew attention to China's support for the government of Sudan. The campaign hoped to change China's policy by embarrassing it in the run-up to the 2008 Summer Olympics held in Beijing. In March 2007, China said it would urge Sudan to engage with the international community. The campaign persuaded Steven Spielberg to withdraw as an artistic advisor to the opening ceremony. 
During the Olympics, Faro televised via the internet from a Sudanese refugee camp to highlight China's involvement in the region. Faro and her son Ronan visited 2006 Berlin to be part of a charity auction of United Buddy Bears, which featured designs by artists representing 142 UN member states. She has traveled to Darfur several times. Her third trip was in 2007, with a film crew engaged in making the documentary Darfur, on our watch. Later in 2007, Farrow offered to trade her freedom, for the freedom of a humanitarian worker for the Sudan Liberation Army who was being treated in a UN hospital while under threat of arrest. She wanted to be taken captive in exchange for his being allowed to leave the country. Farrow is also a board member of the Washington, D.C.-based non-profit Darfur Women Action Group. In 2009, Farrow narrated a documentary, As We Forgive, relating the struggle of many of the survivors of the Rwandan genocide to forgive those who murdered family and friends. To show solidarity with the people of Darfur, Farrow began a water-only fast on April 27. Farrow's goal was to fast for three weeks but she called a halt after 12 days on the advice of her doctor. In August 2010, Farrow testified in the trial against former Liberian President Charles Taylor in the special court for Sierra Leone. Farrow has been an activist against Chevron, accusing the oil company of environmental damage in the South American rainforest. Farrow helped build the Darfur archives, which document the cultural traditions of the tribes of Darfur. She has filmed some 40 hours of songs, dances, children's stories, farming methods and accounts of genocide in the region's refugee camps that make up the current archives. Since 2011 the archives have been housed at the Thomas J. Dodd Research Center at the University of Connecticut. In February 2015 Farrow appeared in an episode of A Path Appears, a PBS documentary series from the creators of the Half the Sky movement. In the episode Farrow travels to Kibera, Kenya's largest slum to share stories from organizations providing education to at-risk girls. In the 2016 Democratic presidential election, Farrow endorsed Democratic Party candidate Bernie Sanders. Personal life In February 1968, Farrow traveled to India, where she spent part of the year at the ashram of Maharishi Mahesh Yogi in Rishikesh, Uttarakhand, studying transcendental meditation. Her visit received worldwide media attention, because of the presence of all four members of the Beatles, Donovan, and Mike Love, as well as her sister Prudence Farrow, who had inspired John Lennon to write the song, Dear Prudence. Though she has been critical of the Roman Catholic Church, she maintained in a 2013 interview with Piers Morgan that she had not lost her faith in God. Since the 1990s, Farrow has resided at Frog Hollow Farm, a farm in Bridgewater, Connecticut. Relationships and family On July 19, 1966, Farrow married singer Frank Sinatra at the Las Vegas home of Jack and Tratter. Farrow was 21 years old, Sinatra 50. Sinatra wanted Farrow to give up her acting career, which she initially agreed to do. She accompanied Sinatra while he was shooting several films, but soon tired of doing nothing and signed on to star in Rosemary's Baby. Filming of Rosemary's Baby ran over its initial schedule, which angered Sinatra, who had cast Farrow in a role in his film The Detective. After Farrow failed to report for filming, Sinatra cast actress Jacqueline Bissett in Farrow's role. In November 1967, while Farrow was filming Rosemary's Baby, Sinatra's lawyer served her with divorce papers. Their divorce was finalized in August 1968. Farrow later blamed the demise of the marriage on their age difference, and said she was an impossibly immature teenager when she married Sinatra. The two remained friends until Sinatra's death. On September 10, 1970, Farrow married conductor and composer Andre Previn in London. She was 25 and he was 41. Farrow had begun a relationship with Previn while he was still married to his second wife, songwriter Dory Previn. When Farrow became pregnant, Previn left Dory and filed for divorce. Farrow gave birth to twin sons in February 1970, and Previn's divorce from Dory became final in July 1970. Dory Previn later wrote a scathing song, titled, Beware of Young Girls, about the loss of her husband to Farrow. Previn and Farrow divorced in 1979.
1979, Farrow began a relationship with film director Woody Allen. During their relationship, Farrow starred in some of Allen's films, and several of her relatives also made appearances. Their relationship ended in 1992 when Allen began having an intimate relationship with Sunyi Previn who was 22 years old at the time. Children As of September 2016, Farrow had 11 living children, including her adopted daughter Sunyi and adopted son Moses, from whom she is estranged. Three of her adopted children, Tam, Lark, and Thaddeus, are deceased. Farrow and former husband Andre Previn have three biological children, twins Matthew and Sasha, and Fletcher, who became the chief information officer of IBM. They adopted Vietnamese infants Lark Song Previn and Summer, Daisy, Song Previn, in 1973 and 1976, respectively, followed by the adoption of Sun Yi from Korea around 1978. Sun Yi's precise age and birth date are not known but a bone scan estimated her age as between 5 and 7 at the time of her adoption. In 1980, following her divorce from Previn, Farrow as a single mother adopted Moses Farrow, a two-year-old Korean orphan with cerebral palsy. In 1985, Farrow adopted Dylan Farrow. Dylan was known as Eliza for a while and also as Malone. In December 1991 a New York City court allowed Woody Allen to co-adopt Dylan and Moses. On December 19, 1987, Farrow gave birth to their son Satchel O'Sullivan Farrow, later known as Ronan Farrow. In a 2013 interview with Vanity Fair, Farrow stated Ronan could, possibly, be the biological child of Frank Sinatra, with whom she claimed to have, never really split up. In a 2015 CBS Sunday morning interview, Sinatra's daughter Nancy dismissed the idea that her father is also the biological father of Ronan Farrow, calling it, nonsense. She said that her children were affected by the rumor, because they were being questioned about it. I was kind of cranky with Mia for even saying possibly, she added. I was cranky with her for saying that, because she knew better, you know, she really did, but she was making a joke. And it was taken very serious and was just silly, stupid. Between 1992 and 1995, Farrow adopted five more children, Dam Farrow, Kaylee Shea Farrow, later known as Quincy Maureen Farrow, Frankie Min, Isaiah Justice, Gabriel Wilk Farrow, later known as Thaddeus Wilk Farrow and named after Elliot Wilk, the judge who oversaw Farrow's 1993 legal battle with Ellen. Tam Farrow died of heart failure in 2000 at the age of 19 after a long illness. In May 2018, Moses Farrow made claims on his own blog that Tam had actually died from an overdose of pills, after a lifelong battle with depression. On December 25, 2008, Lark Previn died at the age of 35, also after a long illness. Moses Farrow has stated that Lark's death was due to AIDS-related illness, following a long battle with addiction. On September 21, 2016, Thaddeus Wilk Farrow was found dead at the age of 27 after an apparent car crash. The Connecticut State Medical Examiner later ruled the death a suicide after an autopsy revealed that Thaddeus had shot himself in the torso. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?